Hello everyone. Let's see the second problem from weekly contest 337. Let us check knight tour configuration. Okay. So there is an end to end chessboard. Okay. The knight starts from the top left cell. Okay. So the knight starts from this cell. Okay. So we are given an end to end integer matrix grid consisting of distinct integers from the range 0 to n square minus 1. Okay. Where grid of a particular uh, row column indicates that 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 cell is the cell where the knight has visited okay return true if the grid represents a valid configuration of the knight's movement or false otherwise okay so what this question says is if we have this uh, let's say matrix so our knight will start from here okay now our knight can take uh, leaps like this isn't it this then uh, this this like that if you see this 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 isn't it like this so the thing is it can go to it can go to eight unique positions isn't it this 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 three four five six seven and eight okay so our knight starts from here okay and our knight will take a jump okay our knight in this case scenario where can our knight go it can go here and it can go here okay this position and this position it can't go in this side isn't it that is out of bounds now each of these cell value represents the let's say if the value is i okay let's say if the value is, value is i so the cell value represents the ith step okay that if this is 21 then after 21 step our steps our knight has reached here okay if this is 0 our uh, knight was initially here if this is 1 at first step our knight has reached here isn't it our knight has reached here okay now the next would be step number 2 isn't it so from here we can reach here the knight can reach here so this is the second step ith step okay so our task is to find if it will be able to reach from 0 to n square minus 1 what is n square minus 1 if the size is n uh, let's say 5 5 so 24 so 0 to 24 let's see from 0 to 1 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 3 to 4 then 4 to 5 then uh, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to, where is 9, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 13, 13 to 14, 14 to 15, 15 to 16, 16 to 17, 17 to 18, like this, like this, it will finally reach 24, okay. The task is to reach the last cell which is 24 n square minus 1 okay so which is true so our task is to follow this path okay and uh, to uh, tell if the knight will follow this movement and reach the last possible cell value okay in this case if we see we start from 0 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 5 5 to 6 6 to 7 but we can't reach 8, right? It's here. We can't take a step like this. We have to go like this or this or this or this, isn't it? So in that case, it's false. It, it's not able to reach the last possi possible cell, isn't it? Now, what are the 8 possible directions? Let's say if we are standing at i, j, where can we go? So these are the 8 possible directions that we can move, okay? So what is this? i plus 2, j plus 1. This. Then we have i plus 2 j minus 1 this position we have i plus 1 j plus 2 this position i plus 1 j minus 2 this position i minus 1 j plus 2 this position i minus 1 j minus 2 this position i minus 2 j plus 1 this position i minus 2 j minus 1 this position so these are the eight possible directions or the steps that we can take okay so the approach i have followed is something like this we start from here right we start from here okay where are we supposed to go we are supposed to go to a cell where the cell value is one okay so we will go to eight possible directions okay so in that eight possible directions after taking eight possible steps okay if we see that we have reached a cell value of one then that means it is possible okay so from cell value of one from the cell value one we will take again eight more steps okay eight possible steps and see from which which one of them we get to two we get to two so in that one uh, next step we one of them we will get to two so from two we will uh, check eight more possible steps okay this these eight isn't it 
one of them is going to give us our next step isn't it so from two we will see if we are able to go to three okay so like that we will go to four we will go to five we will go to six like that at the end we are supposed to reach 24 okay now from 24 we will again try to go to 25 right but 25 is not possible we won't we won't find a cell whose value is 25 so what we will do we will stop our movement from there okay so our cell value was 25 okay now we will see if our cell value is equals to n square that means till n square minus 1 we have traversed isn't it so if we are finally looking out for n square number cell then that means n square minus 1 cell was traveled isn't it that's why we are looking for n square valued cell isn't it so that means our movement was possible so we will return a true okay from there otherwise let's say from 4 we wanted to go to 5 but in none of the uh, 8 steps okay we were able to reach 5 okay so from there what we will do we will break out okay then uh, that no we are not able to uh, reach to, to our next cell okay so this is my solution okay we start from the 0 comma 0 position right if it is not a 0 if the starting position is itself not a 0 we return a false okay otherwise we call this function help okay we call this helper function so what is this we pass the grid we pass the grid we pass our ith position and the jth position or the i mean the coordinates that we are standing on right now okay we pass that and we pass the cell that we want to reach that we want to go to next okay so you want to go to one now we are at zero we go want to go to one okay now what we will do uh, so this is the direction vector okay so these are all the directions just like this 1 plus 2 j plus 1 1 plus 2 j minus 1 okay so this contains all the possible directions if we just add them to our i and j we will move uh, we will get our direction desired direction okay so we iterate over this direction vector and we get our new coordinates okay now if our new coordinates is in bounds okay if it is in bounds and the new coordinate that we have reached is the coordinate that we want to reach let's say our past in cell was one right we want to reach to a cell one so if the new position that we have reached if it is one then what we will do from this position we will call our function again okay from this new position we will call our function again now we want to go to the cell value plus one right now we want to go to two right just see here when we were at one from this i and j from this coordinates we wanted to go to two isn't it so we call our function from here okay with cell value two now in case let's say we iterate over this whole direction array and we never got this okay if we never got this like the cell value that we want to reach after taking eight possible steps we were never able to find our desired cell then at this at that condition what we will do uh, this for loop will terminate isn't it we will come to here okay or let's say if we in case moved out of bounds also like then we won't return okay this whole condition has to be satisfied isn't it so let's assume our condition is satisfied but after taking eight directions we were not able to reach the cell that we want to go isn't it so let's say we were at one we we were never able to go to two then in that case our for loop will stop isn't it so at after that we will see that let's say if we are at one okay if we are at one we will see if it is equals equal to 25 or not okay if it is not then we will return false that no if it is not possible why are we checking this condition because see as already discussed after doing all the possible directions we are finally we will finally be looking out for this position isn't it this cell so the condition would be something like this after we traversed all the 24 grades we will be looking out for cell number 25 isn't it but cell number 25 will never be found isn't it so this for loop this condition will never be true so we will break out of this loop okay we'll break out of this loop and we will see okay we have breaked out of this loop but why is is it because we have traversed all the cells or is it because we were never able to reach a next cell that we wanted to if we broke out of the cell because we never we were never able to reach the next cell let's say we wanted to reach the cell 5 but we were never able to reach 5 okay so this is the last cell that we were looking for is it equal to the uh, is it equal to this that me what is what is this the last possible cell which we will be looking for after taking all the cells after traversing all these cells if they are not equal then that means we were not able to traverse otherwise if this is the if this is equal then that means we have traversed all these cells okay all the 24 cells after that we are looking for cell number 25 
so this is the solution i hope it's clear okay this is a very readable code right you can clearly understand that we are if we have reached the next cell then from the that cell we are going trying to reach the next cell okay so yeah uh, now if we talk about the time complexity okay it's a big o of n square because we are at max traversing we will be traversing all the cells isn't it but we are running a for loop right we are for running a for loop of size n uh, of size 8 okay so time complexity is a big o of 8 n square and the space complexity is also big of n square if we consider the recursive stack space okay so i hope uh, you don't have any doubt if you have you can ask me in the comment section and if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye bye